Hi guys, it's Carissa and I have my June favorites for you. I can't believe it's July and because the month felt like it went by so quickly, I was pretty surprised at the products that I had gathered for my favorites video this month. It's all cosmetics, um, mostly color cosmetics and um, that's good because for me, that's always my favorite part of watching favorites videos or haul videos. I love to see what people bought and what people are loving in terms of cosmetics. The rest of it, skincare, hair care, a lot of that is very personal, but these things usually have a broader spectrum of people who can appreciate the actual, you know, color and finish of certain products. So I'm really excited to share these with you. I will get started with mascara. I may have found a new favorite mascara and that's really hard for me to say because I have been loving the Benefit mascara. They're real and it's pretty much perfect except for the price point. It is a little on the drier side compared to what I typically prefer but my main issue with it was the price because I go through mascara pretty quickly. I layer it on. I really love a bold lash look and really if I had to leave the house with only one product on it would be mascara. So I finally gave in and tried this Frevlon Lash Potion. It says Grow Luscious on it. I haven't really done too much research into that and I haven't seen any results in terms of the length and the fullness of my lashes without the product. But with the product, I really love the results. It's a wetter formula than the Benefit product and it has a much better brush in my opinion. It has a fuller, more traditional brush and I prefer that really over the rubber brushes. They're too spiky. I always poke the underside of my eyelid with them and irritate my eyes and I don't really care for how they distribute the product. Yes, it's more of a clump free um, distribution. However, I have a mascara comb for that, so clump it up. I can take off the excess. I don't care. So they're very similar in terms of how they end up looking once applied. My only real problem is that this product can be overdone. So what I mean by that is because I tend to really layer my mascara on because I'm looking for the maximum fullness and length that I can get out of the mascara, I have a tendency to put too much on and in the tips of my lashes will bow downward. So where the end of my lashes are and where the rest is product, it can kind of get heavy and fall forward. And I really, that's like a huge pet peeve of mine. I really can't stand when that happens. So the only caveat with this is that I have to be very careful when I apply it and not go to town the way I normally do. So maybe that will teach me some self-control. I don't know. Next is a lip gloss that I love so, so much. I decided to wear it for this video. And it is the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in the color Narcissus. This is purple. And if you watched my favorites video last month, you probably know that I have been favoring purple toned and purple colored lip products. I just get a lot of compliments when I wear them. And it's something that I very recently started feeling brave enough to try. It's great because I feel like it's something different. It's something that's a really nice bright pop of color, but it's still wearable for everyday situations. And, you know, I don't feel like it's too obnoxious. Nermal's joining me. Say hi, Nermal. <laughs> oh, I think she wants dinner. It's too early. Um, another thing, I've never tried the cream sheen glass but I really love the way it feels on my lips. It is so smooth and so soft. It doesn't feel all built up and I can just swipe a very sheer amount of it on and still get good color coverage and a really nice feel or I can really load it up like I did today and it still feels great. Um, there's something to be said for that because some glosses, no matter how good they look, you have to kind of suffer through the way they feel on your lips. So this is definitely not one of those products. Um, I also, Miramal, we got to talk, honey. I also picked up the new to us <laughs> Rimmel London Show Off Lip Lacquer. It is um, already popular in the UK under the name Apocalypse, 
and they're now in the States under the name Show Off. Um, but pretty much everything else about them, I'm pretty sure is the same. Uh, this color here is Celestial. This is my favorite, I think, of the ones that I picked up just based on the fact that it was the one that I almost always reached for when I wanted to put it on. The finish of these glosses is unlike anything I've ever used before. It's so opaque and the coverage is just perfect. And I did do a full review on... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did do a full review on several of the colors for a new channel that I um, was so flattered to be asked to contribute to. My friend Stephanie is starting it and it is based on plus size beauty. So if you are interested in hearing a full review on this product and seeing what else we have to talk about, I will put the link for that channel below. It is brand new. There are no videos on it right now as I speak. So if you subscribe now, you'll be one of the first to see our launch video. Next, I fell in love with my Lime Crime Velveteen Liquid Lipstick in the color Suede Berry. Wow, this is awesome. It's so bright and bold, and it has this amazing retro matte finish. When I'm wearing this, I feel way cooler than I actually am, and I just love this. I also finally got my hands on the Viva Glam Nikki 2, and this is such a beautiful lilac color. I have been layering it over a warm toned nude lip liner, and it's just the perfect amount of subtle um, light purple on my lips. It doesn't look too chalky or too white, and it feels really nice on the lips as well. Next was my super fun drugstore bargain. I got this on sale for $4. It's the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Stormy Pink. It's color 011 and it is a matte finish lipstick. And it's kind of a cool toned pink color. It's not too bright, it's not too boring. Um, and the finish, because it's matte, looks very modern and it was such a fun steal for $4. I've been wearing that quite a bit. It happened, ladies. I have stepped up my brow game. I have been doing a lot lately to try and perfect the way that I do and shape my brows. And although I really did love using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Ebony, I was finding that I wasn't getting as precise a line as I prefer, and I also go through the product so quickly. And no matter how much I do or don't use, it really wears off pretty quickly on me during the day. I don't know if it's because of the time of year and I'm a little sweatier, or if it's just not a formula that works for my skin. And that's fine. I know that that's sometimes the case. It is a shame, though, because the color is so perfect. It couldn't be any more perfect. A lot of the brow products that I've used in the past have a little bit too much of a red tone to the brown, and it doesn't look right on my face with my hair color. I need something a lot ashier. And the drugstore brands just don't have colors that seem to work or compare to what it is that I'm trying to achieve. And Anastasia, man, she's got it. She's got it. I picked up this Brow Genius kit after much hesitation. It was $24, which is a lot to spend on your brows, um, but this will last you forever. It only comes in two colors, which also was a hesitation of mine. It comes in blonde and brunette. And I just feel like it's too impossible that those two colors alone would cover a wide enough scope for her to not have at least one other color in between. But this is so buildable and perfect a product. Uh, I had to play with it a little bit. It was not love at first try. But after having it for a while, I've discovered that I use so little product but get such a great result that I may never use anything else again until she comes out with her next genius product. Basically what you do is you use a clear waterproof gel with a tinted brow powder. So you, um, I use, use it on my hand. I'll swipe a little bit of the gel on my hand, tap some of the brow powder on the color. I almost always use too much. I'm still trying to learn the perfect amount. And then you mix them together with the brush that's provided. And it's a double-sided brush. It has a nice tapered angle brush and a spoolie on the end. And then I just apply the product 
Um, I start on the outer edge of my eyebrow, on the outer third, because that's where I concentrate the color the most. And then I sort of meet from the front end over and I blend upward so that I get kind of an ombre effect. My brows aren't completely solid all the way through. If you uh, use Instagram, check her out on Instagram. She's constantly posting pictures of different looks that have been achieved with this product and other products of hers, as well as some instructional pictures and videos. And all it does is make me really wish that I was born with those big, beautiful, thick brows. But I'm working with what I've got, and I'm really, really loving the results with this. So, like I said, I know that $24 is a lot. But if you buy it at Ulta, they have a great return policy. And once you kind of get the hang of it, you'll realize that with as little as you're using, this is a much more affordable per-use item than most other products on the market. And lastly is something super fun that I didn't need at all, but I treated myself to because I just fell in love with it. I went to Ulta one day quite a while ago and I swatched these new moon dust eyeshadows on my, on my hand. And I thought those are really pretty, but I wear contact lenses and I have no sense, you know, why do I need to wear glitter in my everyday life? I don't. My husband hates it. He gets all stressed out that he's going to get it stuck to his face. So <laughs> I just walked away from it and said, I don't need it. That was fun. Whatever. But as I was shopping, I just couldn't stop looking at it. You know, I would turn my wrist and really get a glimpse at how gorgeous these shadows were. So I finally went back and treated myself. This is in the color Moon Spoon. It is so beautiful and different from anything else that I have. Well, then I found myself doing a kind of retail therapy shopping spree a few weeks later, and I wandered back over to the Moon Dust eyeshadows. I played around with them a little bit. There's definitely two other, others that I would really love to have as well, but I did decide to get the Space Cowboy, which is this really beautiful brown. It almost looks more taupe on my eyes, and then it has the silver shimmer like the Space Cowboy eyeshadow. It can probably be worn with a lot of different looks, and it can really be dressed up or really be played down for just a really subtle, beautiful, like maybe center of the eye shimmer um, on an otherwise kind of no makeup makeup look. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I only had color cosmetics, but that's what I got into this month and I can't believe this month is last month already. So that's it for now. Thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying your summer and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.